Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out today. My name is Ryan Wilk. I'm the Vice President of Customer Success with New Data Security. Um, what we want to talk about today is a little about trust, trust within the digital world. Um, one of the biggest issues we have today around trust is what are we trusting in the online world? If we look at the mobile space, the, the web space, we tend to be trusting a device. You know, and I, I have my phone right here, you know, so, you know, we think about trust and we think about our users. What do we want to trust? Do we want to trust this or do we want to trust the user? I, I opt for actually being able to trust the user. We have another issue beyond just trusting the, the user. We find that within most accounts, there's multiple humans interacting. We may have a husband, we might have a wife, and I'm gonna tell you my story as we go through my demo in just a couple minutes. But what I really wanna put forward is the idea of how we can move away from simply trusting a device, trying to, to bind a device and, and place all of the eggs in that basket, and how we can move to trust the entity, the entity behind the device and the person, who's actu the person or persons who are interacting with that account. So let's get into this here. So what we have here is myself. This is my account, my bank account, Ryan Wilk at NewDataSecurity.com. But like many of us, it's not just me who's logging into this bank account. My wife also logs into the account. She has her own username, but we tend to use the same username and password, which, you know, from the banking perspective, I know we're, we're probably violating terms and conditions of our agreement, and I know none of you want that to happen, but you all know it's happening. So we want to figure out, even as I'm using my device, she's using her device, we're using all types of devices with the same account, how do we know it's the correct person? What New Data is looking to do is bring together hundreds of data points around those user interactions to really understand the underlying human users. So as we, we see here on our dashboard, we have my account. So this is the aggregated profile of my particular account within the, within the banking environment. We then come down here and we start to look to understand what, who's actually interacting. We see here that there's actually two users, two humans within this single entity. We see entity one and entity two. New data brings together information around the device, around the connection, around the passive biometric input within the account, and the historical behavior of the user to do two things. First, as we see there, we're grouping and clustering those interactions amongst the individual user. So as they cycle devices, cycle IPs, cycle connections, we're able to understand and link together that it is the correct user, that correct human. Secondly, we're now expanding that out beyond that single point. We're looking to understand if there's multiple entities. We're, we're clearly seeing that there's more than one human interacting with this account, but looking for linkages to say, why are they independent, but then why are they still the same? Because you, know, you start to think about when you and your wife or you and your partner are doing these things, you're probably at times using the same device, using the same IP. You start to think of all of this overlapping interaction that you can now link together and really understand that these are both the same event together. So now I'll expand this out and we'll take quite a, a look a little deeper in here. So what we see now is we have two users here and we've expanded out these two users. And you start to think about all the different things that make this user who they are. Here what we're seeing is we're seeing first off the passive biometric input for the user. We see that based on how this user is actually inputting into the device, there's a high probability it's the correct human time and time again. We see that this user constantly is changing devices, or as you know, we clear cookies, we do everything we can to make the valid people look, uh, look fake and the, and the bad actors look as legitimate as possible, and that's, we all know that's how it works. So we see that there are multiple devices and multiple device prints linked to this user. We see multiple IPs, multiple connections, and we see multiple different device variables. We even as we look over here, we start to see that there's a second user here. There's Ryan's wife, her name is Elsa. I told her I'd give her a little plug as I'm doing this. So we see we have all of her interaction variables as well. So by doing this, we're able to bring this data together to now say there's two entities, two humans that live underneath this single account. We're able to bring these entities together to really understand that it's not just Ryan, it's not just Elsa. We don't even need to know who Ryan or Elsa is. What we need to know is that there's two valid human entities that are linked back to this single account, and when, is it, when do we see those valid human, human entities interacting so that we can trust them, so that we can understand this is the correct user. We don't need to put them through some terrible 2FA process or step up because we see a new device. Again, you know, if every time you changed your shoes, your friends stopped recognizing you, that'd be a terrible experience in life. Why are we giving our users that same experience in the digital world? But then we also have the risk. We have the risk that bad actors might start to interact here, that people might try to take over accounts. You know, it might be illegitimate usage. You need to be smart, and that's why you need to look to understand what is that valid clustering and what is the, uh, the, the invalid outliers. So here we're seeing there are a number of login attempts with, that have occurred on my account. 
And then we can see a number of risky logging account attempts. We're able to dynamically segment out that data, segment out that behavior to ensure that we can say that these shouldn't be part of that known entity, that known trusted factor. And then when you have the ability to really drill in and understand who the entity is, who should be interacting with the account, who is that valid user, then who would not be that valid user, who's the person that's that outlier, you're able to very dynamically and effectively protect your environment. And the exciting thing is, is that New Data is doing this today. We're doing this for, for hundreds of clients. Um, just this year, or just last year, we processed about 200 billion behavioral events. Um, this year, we're on the verge of processing about 350 billion behavioral events for some of the largest FIs and e-commerce companies around the globe. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, recently New Data was acquired by MasterCard. So we're now part of the larger MasterCard family, being able to bring together all of the intelligence from MasterCard, doing that along with the intelligence from New Data, and really providing the largest and most powerful behavioral network and passive biometric network in the world. So really appreciate your time today. Would love to tell you more about New Data and New Detect. Um, you're welcome to stop by our booth. Myself or Tom would be happy to chat with you. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks, everyone.